Hello everyone and welcome back to Ray Zero Space and Kerbal Space Program 2 where I have rebuilt the heavy dropship because it looks like all craft files need to be rebuilt in this version and I want to send it to the moon. We had never launched it to the moon before. We had tested it on Minmus and I've made some changes. First of all, we don't have the vectors anymore. We have thuds instead. That's a little bit tight for the moon. Obviously it'd still be reasonably OP for Minmus, but it does mean that this can't be tested on Kerbin in VTOL mode unlike the previous version. Uh, I might reconsider that and put the vectors back on, but for now uh, the vectors were OP, so I decided to leave them off and we'll see how this goes. And I've also decided to go with two boosters instead of four, and they each have uh, seven vector engines to boost this up, so it looks like that. And maybe that's a good idea, maybe not. They're not in symmetry, by the way, if you're wondering. They were placed individually, so that is for safety's sake. And we have the huge fins to counterbalance the wing of the heavy dropship. We still have a wing. After all, without the vector engines, it can't do a VTOL landing on Kerbin to come back. So we are going to need the wing to fly in. And the jet engines, of course. If you're not familiar with this premise, the idea is that it is going to be able to make landings on Mimis Moon and potentially Duna. Uh, though it's a little bit underpowered for Duna, probably we'll need the vectors for that, and that's why I put the vectors on in the first place. But the reason it has the jet engines like this here is because the mass of the nose cone, cockpit, uh, control core, because we don't necessarily want to test it with Kerbals on board, and the jet engines is exactly counterbalancing the nuclear engine on the tail, the swerve. And it's to within 0 0.004 tons or four kilograms so it was a very nice balance and that's why I decided to put the jet engines up there uh, unfortunately even though everything is nicely balanced we've got the fuel tanks balanced and the cargo bay in the center the wing can't be quite so balanced and the landing gear of course we have one nose gear and two uh, rear gears and but the rear gears are pretty close to the center line so it doesn't, they don't pull the center mass too much, but the wing can throw it off a little bit. But uh, yeah, and the other uh, control surfaces. So we'll have to see. The problem is, the problem is that we have been losing wing pieces on the pad before launch, you know. And well, let's see. Let's see how it goes this time. Uh, indeed, uh, a progression. I don't know which one is a progression. Uh, we're about to find out. I'll double click this. Is anything actually falling off? I don't know. Did we lose something? Maybe we're okay. Uh, we've got Valentina in there even though I didn't want to. But if we're okay, that's fine. Uh, we'll just try and go. I don't know if it's safe or not. Um, yeah, uh, do, do we have all the engines? It looks like it. We have a negative velocity of... and um, We have a downward velocity of 5.6 meters per second, though. So... Uh, okay. This is also now called Default Name 3 instead of Heavy Dropship Launch. So various problems. All right, well, I guess we'll try it. Oh gosh. Um, I don't know what happened at that point. Now I don't have any payload in the bay because I wanted to test the launch out without that because there's bound to be problems and sure enough there were. Now, another option is to actually launch on the runway. Let's see if that works better. I tried the rotation thing, and that doesn't help a whole lot with this. This bounces a lot in the launch clamps. Look at that. Negatives, uh, I mean, 6.1 meters per second downward. I think we have enough to go to orbit. Okay. Uh, oh no! Structural link on many things. Still 6.2, 6.1.
Maybe I'll reduce the thrust initially. Okay, it's rising in the clams. And then at zero, release. <laughs> okay, maybe that's the solution. I just figured, okay, well, it's going down, apparently. And then it takes some time for the engines to pull it up. And so I'll just wait till they get to zero and then release the launch clamps. It's weird. We've got six launch clamps there. I don't know how many this thing needs. But apparently more than that. I'm gonna keep going straight up for a bit. I did put struts between the boosters and the and the core of the heavy dropship itself. But that one's shaking a bit. That's four struts per booster. I think I'm turning a little bit too quickly. Alright, but we got off the pad. That's the first battle for sure. On to the moon. We are past the speed of sound. <gasps> okay, well, we didn't survive through max Q there. Maybe we should throw all down through max Q. Let me try launch again. Uh, maybe we won't try turning so quickly. Well, ignition. And at zero launch. Close enough to zero okay. anyway. Okay, I'm gonna throttle down here. We're past the speed of sound. Oh, uh, something made a puff. I don't know what it was. I hope it wasn't anything important. Oh, we lost an engine there. How the heck did that happen? Uh, we, we lost another part. We lost the vertical stabilizers. What the heck? Well, we probably shouldn't be going this fast this low, though. Oh. And because we lost one engine on one side, there's more fuel on one side. Right. That's just great. Okay, let's try to launch again, and we'll go steeper. And go. Well, this technique sure works. Somehow. Is there any obvious anomaly with one of the engines? It looks like they're all... nice and in symmetry. Maybe... It was just aerodynamic forces and we shouldn't go so low and so fast at such a low altitude. It seems pretty stable. Maybe I could reduce the size of those wing pieces and thereby reduce drag. The mass is still the same, I think, even if you resize them, but I do think the drag will be reduced if we resize them. I'm going to coast a bit. I am not going to time warp across the boundary between the atmosphere and space. So, well, but I can time warp now, but maybe I don't want to. Maybe, just for safety's sake, let's not. Alright, definitely not orbit. And... separation? Ooh. I don't know why they're turning like that. Ooh. 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 Out. We got a boink. We got a boink. Uh... Yeah, I thought I put the Separatrons on right, but I guess I did not. Um, these are not the engines I want to have going. I should have action grouped them, I did not action group them. Okay, swerve, activate. Alright. Okay. Oh, uh, I need more reaction wheel on this. Same problem. I mean, oh well, not the same problem. Uh, when we started with this version, the reaction wheel didn't work at all. 
well, now we have a reaction wheel, it just doesn't work enough. Okay. Alright, we are in orbit. Now the moon. Which is challenging. Well, more challenging than Minmus, anyway. Now, we're not carrying any cargo. You could see at the beginning of the episode why I decided to keep it simple. And we certainly didn't have any cargo rocking in the bay or anything. It's a lot darker than I thought it would be. Um, we're, we're in daylight, right? Where is the sun? It's right there. Why is it so dark? Isn't that weird? I think that's weird. Okay, turning to the node. Eventually. Whenever it feels like it. Okay, well, close enough to node and ignition. This warp does have gimbling. Okay. Uh, well, let's get rid of that and just see our periapsis. Can we see our periapsis? All right. Uh, but, but, okay. All right, we'll take that. We had to go around because we couldn't use all of the thrust from the swerve because it's not pointing quite through the center mass. We'll have to tweak it in order to get all the thrust with it. Uh, but right now, because of the heavy wing on top, it's uh, a little bit out of alignment, so we couldn't use all the thrust, but we managed it, and we can continue. I really don't trust the Delta V reading right now, <laughs> because it was reading something else before that was much more reasonable. Now it says 2000, and I definitely don't trust it. But the important thing is we're going to the moon here. Yeah, the reaction wheel on here is, I mean, the combined reaction wheels, since we have the forward pod and the control core each having reaction wheels inside them, sure don't turn this quickly enough. And I might add another one. I prefer that over relying on RCS for this sort of thing. RCS I would like to just rely on for docking. So post-commentary me here. And that is because I muted myself during the actual recording in real time. And that was because of noise outside. And I forgot to unmute myself once that was done. So here we have me getting into a landing posture directly and activating the thuds and controlling from the top. I would note that for some reason, it's got the activate and deactivate reversed. So I was clicking deactivate when it was activating them. I don't know how that happens. But anyway, that menu always gives me trouble but anyway we are decelerating and the thud seemed reasonably balanced here but I had other problems as we were about to find out and then I will complain uh, I got the real-time recording of me complaining here I deployed a landing gear and so I just realized that I was muted there as I complained very loudly about what just happened um, we Apparently, when I dropped the landing gear, caused it to explode. Now, is there a maximum speed for the landing gear around the moon? Because I don't think that should be a thing. I mean, I understand if it's in the atmosphere. But this is the moon. There's no atmosphere. It shouldn't have a maximum speed for deploying the landing gear. Apollo sure didn't. Um, so... Why? Why did it do that? Why do you do that to me, game? Um, our moment of triumph was nigh, and it was looking like the thuds were doing their job. We could have landed. We could have been somebody. No, I'm, we, uh, we also had the delta of each return, but I, I obviously have some fixing to do. But if you guys have some suggestion for how to not have it rip itself apart when we deploy the landing gear, that would be great. Because I have no idea what happened there. Obviously, it coincided when, uh, with when I tried to deploy the landing gear, but can we stop that? I don't know. I mean, does it have to be just really slow? 
Or is there some other glitch? Because, I mean, a lot of things with the part, it didn't say, you know, it's just the landing gear. That's not what it says here. There's a lot of wing pieces, but maybe the deployment of landing gear caused too much stress for the wings. And that's what happened. Okay, anyway, I have to adjust the tilt on the swerve. We'll test it with cargo next. And maybe I'll reduce the size of the fins on the boosters. That'll give us better performance so we don't have to use as much from the swerve in order to... You know, oh, there's nothing to click around here. Uh, in order to make orbit. And I'll see... Uh, we'll probably add some extra reaction wheel in there. And maybe I'll even throw RCS ports on. Uh, but I'm worried about the landing gear now. Uh, I guess we just have to be slow. We weren't, we weren't that that fast. But And this is the moon. Oh well. Anyway. Yeah, I'll wrap it up here. Uh, tell me your thoughts. With that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.